student is sick with a rare form of bacterial meningitis. And now some of his classmates are being closely watched for symptoms. Steve Shamraz live on campus with this health alert. Steve. Carol and Mike, the concern here is not that this meningitis case could be a, a widespread concern for the city, just that it could be a very serious concern for a small number of people in close contact with that student. So for that reason, both the city and the university tonight are letting people know about this risk. In a dorm building in the middle of winter, it is not uncommon for something to be going around. But when a rare case of bacterial meningitis popped up on the Marquette campus, the Milwaukee Health Department takes notice. This is spread through close, intimate contact, not casual. It's not highly contagious like measles. Paul Biedriski is the city's disease control director. His office is working with Marquette to track down anyone who had close contact with the infected student. Intimate contact like kissing or sharing utensils or sharing beverages or cigarettes can cause exposure. The university expanded on that in a statement saying the student's roommate has been notified and received preventative treatment and living in the same residence hall does not put students at any greater risk. No one's going to get sick. If you, if you feel sick, you're going to get it taken care of. Students were advised of their ill classmate today through a campus-wide email, but they are not alarmed by such a serious sickness on campus because they know it does not spread like the common cold. You don't get it unless you're like making out with everybody and you know, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen with everybody. In addition to that ill student's roommate, a small number of people elsewhere on the campus have also been put on antibiotics just as a precaution. The key symptom here, I am told, is an extreme fever that comes on very quickly. Live on the Marquette campus tonight, Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, better safe than sorry in these cases. Thanks, Steve.